Hey dolls! Today I am sporting my lilac wig that I got off of eBay. So no, I did not dye my hair. You guys probably recognize this from many Instagram photos as well as a few videos that I've done with it before. But today's video we are focusing on Baker's Crate. And this is a kind of new subscription service where each month you receive baked goods and they're actually based in Canada and they're just now starting to expand and ship to the US and this is one of the first boxes that has come to the US so I am completely and totally excited to try this out and I have opened this already I did peek and see everything that's inside but I have not tried it so that is what I'm gonna be doing on this video for you guys and all of these items that are in here were actually made fresh like in different bakeries in Canada and they ship them out so on the top there is a little uh, wooden fork here with some tape on it and it says hashtag Baker's crate so you can eat your little goodies in the box with this you don't have to dirty any dishes and then there is a little pamphlet that lists everything that is within the box another pamphlet that lists all of the ingredients which I think is super cool because Sometimes you want to know what's in your food that you're eating, so this is very helpful. And then another little pamphlet right here that says, Baker's Crate is a subscription box club that delivers freshly baked goods straight to your door. Whether you like it sweet or savory, we've got you covered. Tired of bakery hopping to find what's good? We do the research and bring the good stuff to you. By subscribing to Baker's Crate, you not only get a box of delicious treats, but you also support the local bakeries that made the treats you're enjoying right now. So again, they're from actual bakeries and I think that's so cool and it also includes expiration dates on here so this is what the packaging looks like on the inside there's some little squiggly worms like graveyard girl calls them some big bubble wrap and then there's four individual little sections so the first section has some sugar cookies and these are some little white ones and then this is a beautiful little heart one and I should mention that this was the February box I believe that is why everything is heart shaped and pink and super cute so I'm apologize for this video going up late but it's all good mm. I thought these were just basic sugar these it's actually got jam inside of it which is a so yummy and on this card it also does tell you what bakery it came from. Usually I'm not a huge fan of sugar cookies because they're really plain. But these ones are glazed and they have the jam in the middle. So it's definitely not too dry which is what I was kind of worried about. Alright and then we have this heart shaped sugar cookie which I really don't want to eat. I kind of want to take a picture of it first. Where's my phone? is definitely more of a traditional sugar cookie I don't know if this one is so unique or crazy I mean like the design is unique and really pretty but I don't know if this is super unique okay and moving on to the next section um, I guess I'll go ahead and dive on into these these look like little truffles of some sort and on here it says there is a red velvet cake and a chocolate cake so they're basically like little bite-sized cake pieces covered in frosting or chocolate, I think. So here is the red velvet cake one. Oh my god. I dropped it everywhere. But that is so moist. You guys literally saw how that just fell apart. It's so moist and soft in my wig. And this one is so good. I gotta put this away before I eat the whole thing. And here's the chocolate one, which I'm probably gonna like even more. And this one I'm gonna bite over the box <laughs> just so I don't get it everywhere this time. Oh my gosh. Guys, it tastes kind of like fudge, but it's like so soft. And sometimes with cake, you know, sometimes it can be a little dry, especially if it's been shipped in a box across the country. But, oh my gosh. This is so good. 
And then there are two more things in here. The first is this right here. It's like in a little jar and the card says white chocolate roll cake in a jar. Let's see what's in here. Okay. Ooh. Oh, okay. I don't know if it's good anymore. Kind of tastes a little moldy. I don't know if this one is good anymore, guys. It says March 11th, but I don't know if this one's good anymore. It's got it's got kind of a weird, funky taste to it. So I don't know if I'm gonna venture into this one or not because I don't want to get sick. Hopefully this last thing is still good because it looked absolutely delicious. This is the Chocolate Caramel Delight. And I do just want to say this really quick. Um, the fact that this one tasted a little funky or maybe these are a day or two past expiration has absolutely nothing to do with the company themselves. This obviously was the February box and I'm just now getting around to filming a video about it and taste testing everything so that has nothing to do with the company that is not their fault at all whatsoever it was my bad for not filming it when I should have <laughs> this one's very caramely and this one's definitely still good it's um kind of got fudge on the top and then like a little biscuit on the bottom and then covered with caramel in the middle so that one's really good as well so that's everything that was in the box and I'd say my favorite favorite item was the chocolate little cakeette thing. That was definitely my favorite. This thing, I don't know, I don't trust this. I'm not going to eat the rest of this just for the fact that I think I may have waited too long to eat it. Um, but overall what I tasted was really really good. Um, and yeah, so definitely check out Baker's Crate. I will leave the link in the description box below so you guys can find out more about it as well as any additional information. And with that being said, I will go ahead and let you guys go and I'll talk to you all in my next video. So until then, so long, stay strong, stay true, and be you. All right, bye.